He also told me at that time, it's time for the procedure. I'm not going to gross anybody out, but it starts with a C, ends with Olanoscopy. All right, so what we have so, 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 so. And he said, now, by the way, this is no walk in the park, which is true. You cannot be in a park. Uh, you, you cannot be five feet from a bathroom because they give you a lake of laxative, literally, and it, it clears out everything you've only partially digested from the time you were five. So, uh, <laughs> bazooka gum, Dakota rings, it's all coming out. Because we got a discount at the hospital and I'm cheap, my wife and I did it together. That is something so we got a 10% discount, so that is something you don't find in Cosmo. Uh, so it's like family, that, well, whatever, together. So we're, uh, so we get to the hospital, we're both like 20 pounds lighter, and, and, and they give you a list and they say, Mr. Lee, did you leave your dignity in the car? How, how many have had this done? How many know what it is? All right, so, so you're, we, you know, we're all on the same page. We know what this is. So it's like they give you a hospital doily. <laughs> and they tell you to strip down to your socks. And it's like, this thing covers nothing. And, it's like, you know, and I know when I would have brought a third sock. This is really embarrassing. This is not really... and, and they put you on the gurney with your hiney out for everybody to see. And it's like, I, I, I would have waxed had I known. I, I'm so sorry. I really apologize for this. I'm sorry. And, and they're wheeling me down the hall, and I'm just singing Moon River as I go. And like, <laughs> Sorry, Sister Mary saw too much. Sorry about that. One. <laughs> but the procedure itself is nothing. You all know that it's nothing because you're, you're out. They give you the happy juice. Boom, you're gone. And you wake up four days later in a pool of drool. Uh, <laughs> no memory of what happened. And so they, they can do whatever. They can they, they can pull a Caitlyn Jenner on you. You don't know. You're gone. You're out. <laughs> like, what are these? Uh, so, they wheel you back to the recovery room and they say, and the nurse comes in later when you're up and says, uh, Mr. Lee, to do the procedure, we had to fill you full of gas uh, so the rotoscope could move freely about the gas. And before you go home, you have to release that gas. I was like, well, uh, are you going to use it again? Why? I, 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 let, let me just keep this. I'll, you know, put it on my tab. Go ahead. I, 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 for this. It's like, no, you have to release the gas. And, and this was no small amount of gas. I, I, I was the Hindenburg at this point. I, I, was, I was a Macy's Day Parade float, you know, three feet off the bed, interns with ropes are trying to get me back down. I, I gave them back their gas, so I did. I, 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 and I did such a good job, the doctor came in, I couldn't hear what he said. I had no idea. I, I, to this day, I don't know. I, I could have polyps up the wazoo. I don't know. I, I, which is where they are. That's what they're looking for. Right? Like, um, <laughs> and they won't let you drive home by yourself. I don't know if you've been, it's like, because you're still under anesthesia. So you have to have a friend take you home. And it's horribly embarrassing because my wife and I are in the back seat tooting in harmony all the way home. <laughs> Praying we get pulled over by a cop so I can say, I'm sorry, officer, but we're almost out of gas. 